Namaste yogis. Today I'm taking you in the sunset practice. Let's lie down on your back and bring the soles of your feet together in butterfly pose. Relax your shoulders and all the muscles. Hands relax on the top of your belly or anywhere that you feel comfortable. And gently close your eyes. And begin to deepen the breath. And just feel the same length on every inhalation and exhalation through the nose. Allow the mind to calm and focusing on your breath. Connect with your intention for your practice today, whatever your motivation today, bring it into your breath. And allow the body to fully arrive in this place. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, let it go through your mouth. Just bring your knees together and extend your legs to the mat. Relax your shoulders, arms, wrist. Little wiggle of your toes. Take a couple more deep breaths to stay here. On your next in inhalation, bring your knee to the chest. Left knee bend to the chest and moving slowly side to side. Squeezing that left thigh to your belly. And back to the center, start to extend your left leg up. See if you can push your palms all the way up from the shin to the ankle. Flex the foot and point the toes up and down. Give a little bit of movement there. If you have super tight hamstring, feel free to bend your knee a little bit more. Or use the strap or belt if you need to. You can place under your left foot. Let's bend in that left knee to the chest. Take a simple twist. Bring your knee to the right side and left arm out. See if you can push your left shoulder down to the floor. And go a little bit deeper on your twist. Keeping the mind calm. Back to the center and switch the leg. Right knee bent to the chest, moving slowly side to side. And then on the next inhale, extend your right leg up. Hands to the shin or see if you can extend a little bit more, pushing all the way up to the ankle. Flex the foot, point the toes up and down. Give the same movement, softening the shoulders. Let's bend your right knee to the chest and take a twist to your left side, right arm out. Push that right shoulder down more to the floor. See if you can open for more twist here. Back to the center. Let's drop your feet flat on the floor. Find your bridge pose. Knees stays above the ankles. And on the next inhale, lift your hips up and chest up. And extend your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, lower your left foot down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot down. Let's switch side to side here a little bit using your core. So really engage and squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, raise your arms over the head, top of your palms to the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale again to lift. 
and as you exhale to lower together keep it going moving with the breath Let's bend your knees to the chest as you lower the hips back down, hug the knees in, rock the body side to side, we rock up slowly. From here, bring your hands to the mat, knees to the mat into cat-cow position. So on your cat-cow position, you want to check, keep the wrist under your shoulders and knees under your hips, spine nice and long. Start to spread your fingers wide and pressing down to your knuckles and palms. On the next inhalation, find your cow position, arch your back, look up. And as you exhale, chin to the chest, round your spine into cat. Inhale, arch your back, shoulders open and back. Exhale, chin to the chest, round your spine into cat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round and contract. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Come back to the center. Bring the fingers facing toward your knees. And lean back. Just give a little bit of warming up here on your wrist. Breathing deeply. Exhale, come back up, bring the top of your hands down, bending your elbows wide to the side, lean back again here just a little bit, exhale, stay there, inhale, slowly come back up, exhale, release and bring your hands down, walk your hands a little bit further forward. Tuck the toes under and start to lift the knees off the ground into downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent more or bend a little bit. If you can't reach the heels to the floor, bend your knees more. But try to keep the spine nice and long. Really push the tailbone up to the sky. Bend your knees side to side. Walk your dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, stay. On your next inhale, slowly shift your weight forward into high plank. And as you exhale, lower the knees down, chest chin down. Hug your elbows in on the side of the ribs. Let's push your pelvis down, bring the belly down, hands in line with your chest. Find your little cobra. Inhale, half way up. Exhale, lower your chin down. Again, inhale, lift. See if you can lift a little bit higher and bring the palms off the ground. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind. Exhale, lower the palms down. Come up tabletop position and push back, down, back into your child's pose. Next inhale, come up. Tabletop, tuck the toes. Downward dog. Exhale, stay there. Push your chest toward, your, toward the thighs. Next inhale, shift the weight forward into your plank. Exhale, shift back, push downward dog. Right leg up, inhale, bend into that right knee, open your hips. Micro bend to your left knee, pull that right shoulder down. Inhale, extend your right leg back, bring that knee to the chest and step your right foot in between your hands. Back foot down, 35 or 45 degree angle. Right knee bend stays above the ankle. Raise up, warrior one. Spine long, hips facing forward. Exhale, hands down. Lift your back heel off the ground. Right hand up for the simple twist. Inhale there. Exhale, start to lower your right hand to the back of the room. Swing the arm. Big circle, bring it up. And back and down. Follow the breath. Next, exhale, plant your palm. And then shift the weight to the outer edge of your left foot. Find your side plank. 
right hand up vasisthasana lift up the hips a little bit higher engage the core lower belly hugging in inhale there exhale right hand down find your plank pose inhale exhale knees down chest chin to the floor hug your elbows in slide your heart forward cobra lift the heart exhale push up downward dog left leg up inhale bend your left knee open up your hips micro bend to that right knee roll that left shoulder down inhale extend your left leg up bring your left knee to the chest and slowly step your left foot forward in between your hands right foot grounded raise up warrior one hips facing forward spine long and slowly exhale plant your palms lift your back heel off the ground simple twist left hand up inhale here slowly next exhale lower your left hand toward the back of the room big big circle of your left arm plan your palm let's shift your weight to your right hand and outer edge of your right foot down side plank on the other side bring your left arm up engage the core lift up the hips a little bit higher inhale there on your exhale lower your left hand down find your high plank pose wrist under the shoulders engage the core exhale knees chest chin to the floor inhale slide your heart cobra exhale tuck the toes push back downward facing dog let's bend your knees look forward so you can step walk or jump the feet in between your hands halfway lift inhale exhale micro bend the knees fold forward chest to the thighs grab your opposite elbows sway the spine side to side softening the shoulders arms elbows bend your knees more if you have big space between the thighs and chest let's raise up into standing bend the knees press more to the feet raise your hands over the head look up and exhale bring your hands down to your heart center samastiti open your arms wide to the side touch your palms behind you interlace your fingers squeeze your shoulder blades behind lift up to the sky on your next exhale leaning forward lower your chest to your thighs fall deeper bend your knees more if you need keep pushing the palms away breathing deeply inhale exhale bend your elbows wide release your hands down step the foot back find your downward dog take a couple deep breaths shift your weight forward on your plank exhale knees chest chin to the floor slide your heart forward inhale exhale downward dog push back on the next inhale lift your right leg up to the sky exhale bring your right knee twist to the outside of your left elbow inhale bring it up and back exhale right knee bend open up the hips let's stay there or flip the dog if you can bring the right foot to the outside of your mat for the back bend right arm over the head lift your chest up keep strengthening to that left arm bring your right hand back down inhale lengthen your right leg up and back bring your right knee to the sh chest and step your right shin in between your hands find your pigeon pose so you want to keep right knee in line with your right ankle but if this is 
too difficult for you, you can just slide your right heel toward your left inner thigh. Or you can sit on the block or book if you have the prop to support you and just take it easy. Walk your hands forward, lower your forehead down. Breathing nice and deep. Try to relax any tension on your neck and shoulders. Just focusing on your breath and surrender. Let's find yourself up. Take a twist. Bring your right elbow. Touch the sole of your right foot. Bring your hands together and lift your heart up. Pull that left shoulder back a little bit, keeping that left knee kept facing down to the floor. If this pose is too difficult, just do any modification. You can bring your right elbow in front of your right shin toward the top of your mat. Start to release, come back up. And from here, find Janu Sirsasana, slide your right heel toward your right thigh. So right foot touch your left inner thigh. Extend your left leg, left toes facing up. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, leaning forward, scoop your lower belly in. Grab your foot or ankle, lower your chest to your thigh. Again, always do any modification if this pose is difficult. You can bend your left knee a little bit more. Keep the toes facing up to the ceiling. Flex that left foot. Slowly on your next inhale, lift your heart up. Find the gate pose, Parigasana. Bending to that right knee, right knee down, left leg straight to the side, facing to the top of to the back of the mat. So you want to keep the hip, left hip, knee and ankle is in one line. Bring your arms up, torso nice and long. That's leaning to your left side. You can lower your left hand down to the shin and ride them over the head for the side stretch. Next inhalation, come back up. Exhale, lower your hands down to the front of the mat, wrist under the shoulder. Bring your right foot back into the midline, right knee bent to the chest. Step your right foot in between the hands, warrior one. Raise your hands up, spine nice and long. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step your right foot back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, hugging in lower down, halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your chest, extend your arms. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale, relax. Next inhalation, lift your left leg up to the sky. And bring your left knee to the chest and twisting that left knee to the outside of your right elbow. Inhale, bring it up and back. Bend your left knee, open up your hips. Again, you can stay there or flip your dog. Keep your right leg straight and left knee bend on the outside of the mat. Strengthen to that right arm. Let's come back up. Lower your left hand down and 
Lengthen your left leg up and back. Slowly bring your left knee to the chest and step your left chin in between your hands or behind your wrist. Find another side of pigeon pose. Left knee in line with your left ankle, flexing to that left foot. Again, do any modification in this pose. Either sit on the props, take it easy, or slide your left heel really close toward your right inner thigh. Walk your hands forward, lower your forehead down, softening your shoulders. Feel the torso nice and long. Really feel the stretch, allowing the mind to calm. Slowly come up. Still stay there. Now bring your left elbow, touch the sole of your left foot. As you start to take a twist, hands together, lift your heart up. See if you can pull that right shoulder back a little bit. Keep your right kneecap facing down to the floor. If this pose is difficult, just do the modification. You can bring your left elbow in front of your left chin on the mat. Let's lower your right hand back down. Lift your heart up. Find Janu Sirsasana pose. Left knee bend, facing to the back of the room. Right leg straight. Tailbone down. Keep the torso nice and long. Right toes facing up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, start to lower your chest to your thigh. Grab your foot or ankle. Again, if you can't straighten that right leg, just bend your right knee more. And slowly come back up, release. And find another side of the gate pose, Parigasana. So keep your left knee bent, slide that left foot back to the left side of the mat. Again, keep your right knee, ankle and hip in one line, right toes facing to the right side. Spine nice and long. Inhale. Bring your arms up. Exhale. Slowly leaning to that right side. Lower your right hand to the shin. Left arm up for the side bend. Slowly come up, bring your hands down, facing to the top of your mat. So keeping your left knee bent as you tuck the back toes, lift your left knee up and step your left foot forward in between the palms, right foot down, warrior one. Inhale, raise your hands up. Keep the hips facing forward, spine nice and long. Lower your hands down, exhale. Let's step your left foot back. Find your upper plank. Lower halfway down. Hug your elbows in on the side of the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. From here, let's take a rest. You can slowly find your child's pose, drop your knees to the mat, bring the hips to the heels, forehead down, elbows down, and soften.
And slowly on your next inhalation, start to come up. We're going to lower down. Bring your chest, belly, all the way down. From here, extend your left arm on the side. Keep your palm touch the floor. And start to roll to your left hip. Take your right knee bend behind your left leg. Keep your right knee cap facing up to the sky. If you have anything to support your head, place something under. Or just bring your head down to the floor. Right hand in front of your chest. Relax. Or bring your right hand behind you, bending to that right elbow. And stay there. Begin to soften all the muscles. And slowly bring your right hand back down. Keep your right knee bent, just rolling back to the belly and slide your right knee out to the side, to the outside of your mat. Make like a frog leg pose, hands in line with the chest. And let's bring your right fingertips in front of you a little bit forward from your shoulder. Lift the elbow up and slide your left arm under your right arm. Drop your left shoulder, take a twist, open your right arm out to the side. You can look up or look toward your right hand. Maybe left hand on the top of your right knee. Really feel the twist here on your spine. Keep softening your shoulders and allow the mind to calm. Come back up. Let's lower back to the chest and belly. Bring your hands in line with your chest. Right leg back to the midline. Extend your right arm out to the side. We will do one more time of the shoulder stretch. Roll to your right hip. As you slowly take your left knee bend behind your right leg. Again, place something to support your head either block or pillow or maybe just use the hand or just drop the head down you can relax your left hand in front of you stay like this or bring your left arm behind you relax try to keep your left kneecap facing up to the ceiling Feel the opening of the hips and chest at the same time. Let's rolling back to the chest and belly. Lower your left hand down under your left elbow. Still keeping your left knee bent. And just slide that left knee out toward the outside of the mat. Find your frog leg. Flexing to that left foot. Keep your right knee bent 90 degree angle. Walk the fingertips forward to lift up a little bit up higher. And slide your right arm under your left arm. Pressing to that right hand, let's open up into the other twist. Left arm out, look toward the ceiling or look to the left side. Maybe right hand on the top of your left knee. Still keeping your mind calm and focus on your breath. Breathe slowly. And from here, let's just slide in the hips a little bit to the mat. And then bring your knees to the chest. Arms around your shin, hug your knees and rock the body side to side. 
let's drop your feet flat on the floor we will do a little bit of bridge pose here inhale start to lift the hips up exhale lower the hips down again inhale lift up hands over the head exhale lower the hips down inhale lift up press into the feet to lift a little bit higher exhale to lower follow your breath Maybe stay there, take a couple deep breaths, or stay a little bit longer if you can. You can also bring your hands behind the sacrum and interlace the fingers. Soften your neck and shoulders, lift your heart up. slowly release your hands and lower the hips down all the way to the floor bring the knees into the chest hug your knees in give a little massage to your back here rock the body side to side take a simple twist knees together draw the knees to your left side right arm out try to drop the right shoulder more to the floor see if you can open that right shoulder more now come back to the center knees bend to the right left arm out Slowly next inhale, bring your knees back to the center and bring your legs up to the sky. Give a little movement here around the feet and toes. And then start to bend your knees, happy baby pose. Maybe grab outside of your feet or your ankles or your big toes sway side to side bend your knees more toward your armpit try to keep your lower back relaxed on the ground and start to release your legs and bring your legs up and slowly Bring your legs to the corner of the mat for your final pose. Softening the shoulders. Maybe have little wiggles around your legs, feet and toes. Close your eyes. And allow the body to completely relax and rest. 